In this video, I will show you five Gmail settings and features which every user must know. The first two of these features will make you more productive and organized with your emails. These will save you a lot of time. And the last three features are very important to know that these features exist. So it's a short video. Make sure you stick around and watch full video. The first feature which we are going to learn is how to use labels. Labels act as folders in your mailbox and you will learn how to create labels, how to apply colors and manage them later on once you have created them. The second thing which we are going to learn is that uh, there are not just yellow color stars available in Gmail. There are many other colors are also available and I will show you how you can use all those colors and other icons with your emails. The third feature is how to uh, set a vacation responder in your Gmail. Then we will see how to change your display name to your business name or any other name you wish. And this will be the name the recipient of your emails will see in the subject. And the last feature is about uh, undo. When you send an email, an undo button appears at the bottom. And by default, this button only appears for five seconds. Sometimes you need a little bit more time to react and realize that you should have not sent this message. So how to increase the timing of this undo button? So this we will learn. So let's get started. This is one of my accounts which I have recently created and as you can see that I have applied labels to some of my emails. This green color is a label and as you can see on the left hand side this is the folder and the folder name is appearing beside this email. Similarly this is another folder all the emails which I send from my other accounts to this account during my various lectures or whenever I'm making YouTube videos. So I want to store those emails in this folder and if I click on this folder I can see all those emails. To create these folders we have to click on this gear icon on the right which is settings icon and then again click on settings and here you manage all the settings in your gmail account. This is the page on which you can change the settings. So on the left hand side we click on labels and then at the bottom create new label. Now I can give this label any name. For example, I am doing a diploma and I want all my mails regarding this diploma should be stored in this folder. I can nest this folder under any other folder. If I click here, then it will show me all the existing labels and I can nest this folder under my name, for example, or I can create it at the root level. So let's create it at the root level. And now I click create. Now this label has been created and currently by default it's gray color. If I want any color, I click on these three dots, then a label color, and then I can apply any color to this label. Let's say I apply blue color. Now color has been applied. Later on, if I want to manage any of these folders, again I have to click on setting icon, then settings, then labels, and now here, these are the system labels which you see for example inbox your important email box chat spam and all these folders and these are the folders in the last area which are created by me and i can see their conversations i can hide these folders if i want or i can remove this or i can edit their names for example so this is how i can manage all my folders it is very convenient to organize your emails in folders and these labels act just like folders in your email. So I would encourage you to start using folders and become more organized and productive with your Gmail. Now the second feature which we are going to learn is stars. So let's go back to inbox and here as you can see that whenever you try to star some email and the benefit of putting a star is that if I click on starred folder which is available by default in any Gmail account I can see all my starred emails. So it gives me a quick access to important emails. So this is one of the reason we star. We can also star based on different categories but by default there is only one color star available yellow and if you want to get stars of more colors then again we have to click on settings icon then setting 
and while in the general tab which is the first on the left if you scroll down you have all these stars available and you also have some other icons available to you for example if an email has some question you can put a question icon there so in order to use these you have to bring them to in use row so there are two rows in use and not in use for example, I want this question mark in this area. So when I hover over this, I will see these four arrows. I click and drag and put it into this area. If I want some more stars of various colors, I can put them here. So you can put first all the color stars. Then you can put question mark or tick or exclamation mark or information. And you can also have this one. Once you have done with this, then make sure that you save changes and save changes button is here at the end. Save changes and now the way we use these different color of star is that you click on this star, then click again and you keep clicking until you find the color which you want to use. As you can see that all colors are changing and then you can use any of these colors and then the icons will appear and you can also select icons or colors whatever you want. So this is how you use these stars. The next item is how to set a vacation responder. Again we have to click on gear icon then settings and if I scroll down at the very end I have this out of office reply and by default out of office reply is off. You click here to turn it on then you select the first day of your vacations. So let's say it's 26th of January and what is your last day 2nd of February then you can put any subject then you can type your message that you are not available and which person should be contacted. So this is very useful when you are going on long vacations like 15 days or 4 weeks. Then if you check this box then only the people in your contacts they will get this message otherwise everyone will get this message and then you click save changes and your autoresponder will be set for these days so i'm not going to do that so cancel this the next gmail feature is how to change your display name to do that again click on gear icon and settings and this is the display name so this email comes from my other email account and this is my name in the account information and this can be edited. Let us assume that in this account I want to change this to my business name which is digit idea. So I just click on gear icon settings and then accounts and import and then edit info and this is my display name and if I want to change this to digit idea let's say this is how I change and click save settings very simple. And the last feature how to increase the timing of undo. So let me explain this for someone who is new to Gmail. If I compose and I send email to someone let's say I send to my own email account and when I send this on the lower left corner this appears undo and I have five seconds to respond otherwise as you can see that it has disappeared. So Sometimes you take a little bit more time to think that there was something wrong in this email and you should undo this. So if you want to increase this to, to get a little bit more time, we can do this by settings, then settings again. And in the general tab, here is the undo send. And in front, you have this timings, send cancellation period. By default is 5 seconds and you can change this to up to 30 seconds. So I think 20 seconds is reasonable. So then I click save changes. Don't forget to do this. It's a bit down but you have to do this. And now your cancellation period will increase to 20 seconds. So these were uh, five features which uh, I thought important to know for every user. So if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching.